So this is the, the teacher's control panel. Here we see the graph with the four objects. First, the students edit um, the definition of the scientific method. Then we could actually just keep the activity open because nothing is happening in the middle. But here we go to another identical activity where the students have an opportunity to update their definitions after they um, see the explanation that you will give. Then the students vote on five random uh, items and then all the votes are assembled and the top five in the whole class are shown. Uh, in this case I'm going to make it so that the top five are only showed on the projector but you could also show it to the students uh, on their personal computers. So before we start the session uh, this is what the, the student, these are four students and this is what they would see and when I now start it each student has their own individual pad like this as I said when we go to the next activity they see exactly the same thing um, and they can update it and now in the next case what they see is um, the four in this case only four because there's only four contributions but in the real case they would see different random five contributions and they can vote uh, up or down individually as you can see and in the final case in this case they don't see anything and the teacher has a projector view which um, which shows the result. Uh, here you have the aggregate number of votes and again we're only we only have four items so all of them appear but in the real case the five top uh, contributions would appear. And then the teacher can leave the graph open like this or close it and then the students would see this message.